This is not in the textbooks. What book is Draghi? What book is Yellen? What book are the elite here? What are they reading from? Well, it is not in the books because six years after the crisis, we've tried the zero policy rates, we've done quantitative easing, we've done credit easing, we've done forward guidance, we've even done negative uh, deposit rates and interest rates in nominal terms, we've done unlimited, unsterilized forex intervention. And now, last week, the 10 year treasury yields in Switzerland, 10 year maturity were negative. Which kind of world is that? Now, the gold bags were saying that this is going to lead to a collapse of the dollar, hyperinflation. You and got gold going through the it. They got it all years. wrong because the gold is down, the dollar is up, and we have a problem with lack of inflation, of deflation. Because in spite of this monetary stimulus, in my view, there was not enough of a fiscal stimulus, right. and therefore output is still below trend. I spoke with Adam Posen today at the Peterson Institute. He's looking for bold moves on deflation. Would you suggest that Mr. Draghi will be bold tomorrow? Uh, Master Draghi wants to be bold. He has to convince a majority of the council to surprise on the upside. The trouble is to have a larger program in terms of sovereign bond purchases. The hawks are going to say, let's have less resharing and have more of the National Central Bank buying those bonds. And yep. if he accepts less resharing, then it's not going to be as effective. I'm going to say just 90% of the people in this valley and all of our viewers don't have the sophistication you have on this. When you say there's a negative five-year rate in Japan, when there's a negative 10-year rate in Switzerland, we all understand that's not normal. Is that urgency there among elites in economics? Well, they've been trying. They've tried to do everything possible in order to try to avoid deflation. The problem is that we need not just the right monetary policy, and I've supported unconventional monetary policy, but QE worked in the United States because he had backloaded fiscal consolidation, while they've been front-loaded in the case of the Eurozone, and structural reform have to occur in Japan and the Eurozone, even in the United States. So you have to have a combination of policy, and they've not done the right you thing. You were claimed for QE1, QE2, QE3. I put up the chart of Fed assets, and we're still growing our assets. Which QE are we on right now? Well, we finished uh, QE3, and so far the Fed is saying that as the economy recover at some point in the middle of the year. Do you buy that? Do you buy that? Are you with Vincent Reinhardt, formerly with Morgan Stanley, that they're going to pull it out? Uh, if the rest of the world surprises on the downside, and if the dollar sharply appreciates further, at some point the U.S. is not going to be able to decouple from what's happening in the rest of the world. Economic growth could slow down. We could go into deflation. And in that case, they could postpone the start of the hike, or they could start hiking and then revert themselves. Or in a very extreme scenario, they could go back okay. to quantitative easing. But